In this example, I'm going to show you how to create p-charts using Sigma Excel. This example is taken from the Sigma Excel version 6.1 workbook. So to start, open the sample data called New York Daily Cycle Time Dash Discrete. You'll find this data in Sigma Excel's sample data folder. And once you have the sample data open, you'll see it looks like this. This is data from the Sigma Savings and Loans Company, New York location. Each day, the cycle time in days for completed loans and leases was recorded. N indicates the number of loans counted. A fail was recorded if the cycle time exceeded the critical customer requirement of eight days. Note that we are not recommending that continuous data be converted to discrete data in this manner, but rather we are using this data to illustrate the use of p-charts for discrete or attribute data. Now once you have the data set open, make sure the Sigma Excel tab is selected. Click on Control Charts, select Attribute Charts, and click on p-charts. Select the entire data table and click Next. Now for this example, you're going to select fail as your numeric data variable y, and you're going to select n as your subgroup columnar size, and you can click OK. And the resulting p-chart is created, and you can see that the moving limits are due to the varying sample sizes. While this p-chart shows stability, a much bigger concern is the average 41% failure rate to deliver the loans and leases in 8 days or less.